Dear brothers and sisters, let's collectively do Namaskar to Devi. Namaskar Kundalini. Namaskar Kundalini. talk of the day.
we are going to do puja to Shiva. Shri Shiva. As you know, Shri Shiva is the reflection of Sadashiva Vidyas. I have already told about the reflection. Sadashiva is the God Almighty, the one who sees the play of Adi Shakti. But he is the father who is watching each one of his creation or her creation. His support to Adi Shakti is entirely, fully strengthening. There's no doubt in his mind about the capability of the Adi Shakti. But when he finds that in the play of Adi Shakti, the people of the world as such try to disturb her or spoil her work. Then he gets into his wrathful mood and he destroys all such people and maybe he destroys the whole world. On one side is wrathful, no doubt. On the other side is the ocean of compassion and joy. That's why when it's reflected within us, <coughs> we get our Self-realization. We get the light of our spirit and we get into the ocean of joy. Also, He is the ocean of knowledge. So, those who get Self-realized get the knowledge of the Divine, which is very subtle permeating into every <coughs> atom and molecule. The power of this knowledge is there. <coughs> his style is such that in his compassion he forgives even very cruel Rakshasas, if they dedicate themselves to Him, because His compassion has no limits. And sometimes the same people who are blessed by Him try to trouble the devotees of Adi Shakti. <coughs> But it is just to create a drama, an event. Unless and until there is some drama, people won't understand. We had to have <coughs> Ramayana, we had to have Mahabharata, we had to have Christ being crucified, we had to have Muhammad being tortured. All that drama was there because without events, People don't remember. So in the spiritual life of human beings, they have seen lots of dramas between the blessings of Shiva and the powers of the Adi Shakti. As the time has moved today in the history of spirituality, 
a great discovery has been made, that people can get their realization in the collective amas. Thousands can get their realization. Now we should know what is this realization we have got. What does that mean? And what is the culminating point? First of all, I have to tell you, the mind about which we speak and depend upon is a myth. There's nothing like mind. Brain is reality, not the mind. Mind is created by us reacting to outside. Either we react to conditionings or to our ego. Thus this mind is created like bubbles on the ocean of reality. But that's not reality. With this mind, whatever we decide, we know is very limited, elusive, and sometimes shocking. The mind always moves in a linear direction. And because there's no reality in it, it recoils and boomerangs. Thus, all the enterprises, all the projections so far we have done, it seems, come back to us. Whatever they discover comes back to us as a big destructive power or a very big shock. So one has to decide what to do, how to be out of this trap of our mind. Kundalini is the solution. When she is awake, she takes you. With that awakening, she takes you beyond your mind. The first thing is to go beyond your mind. With mind you will do many things, but it will not be satisfying, it will be not a solution, it will not help you. And when we start depending too much on our mind, we develop all kinds of physical, mental, emotional problems. Now the latest is the stress. Stress, and this stress has no solution, they say. But in Sahaja Yoga we find the solution by crossing over this mind. It's like a barrier for our advancement. So when you get your realization, you must understand that your Kundalini has taken your attention beyond the mind. Now this reaction to outside has come because we human beings have a prism-like brain, or we can say prism-like skull. And when the energy passes into it, I have explained it in my books, uh, it goes into bifurcations, or you can say refractions, by which our attention goes out and we react. If we react too much, then these bubbles create a very horrible mind which can lead to any kind of thing. It justifies itself, it uh, pampers your ego. The ego and the conditioning that creates this mind uh, start using and this mind for the purpose of their fulfillment of their all the accumulation of uh, ideas and thoughts, which has no backing, which has no reality with it. It's like we make the computer. Ultimately, we, we become slaves of the computer. We make the watches ourselves, and then we become uh, slaves of the watches. That's how it dominates human beings. <laughs> on our culture, on our spirituality. Now the 
uh, first step is to become thoughtlessly aware where you cross your mind, you go above your mind. Mind cannot affect you. This is the first stage, as we call it, thoughtless awareness. Second one is where you see, start seeing the working of this Paramachaitanya, of this all-pervading power, and you start becoming aware that there is lot of truth in what Mataji says, that there is this power which works out many things. It works miraculously so many things for you. It gives you blessings, it guides you, it helps you. In so many ways it helps you. It gives you good health, good wealth, and also a very good society of very beautiful people in the collective. All that you can see clearly is happening here. Now this uh, happening of achieving thoughtless awareness is very simple and easy. But to maintain at that point is difficult. We still react uh, and we think. Anything you see, you react. To get to that point in thoughtless awareness is first to change your attention. Now, for example, once we were climbing a, a very high mountain to see one temple called Palitana, myself, my son-in-law and my daughter. And we were really tired because we had to climb I don't know how many steps. And when we went up we were tired and there was a little canopy made of beautiful marble carving. So we just laid down there. They were very tired and they said, what is this kind of a temple, <laughs> a grudging. While I looked up and I saw lots of beautiful uh, elephants were carved. So I told my son-in-law, look at these elephants, they all have tails of different types. He said, Mommy, we are all dying, how can you see the tails of elephants? <laughs> <laughs> but if just to divert, their attention from that tiredness. I told them that why not see these tails of the elephant, which is very different. So what happens that when you are putting your attention so much to outside all the time, then you must first of all also divert your attention. For example, you see these beautifully made things here. Your attention is something else. Just try to enjoy the beauty of that. See, there are beautiful carpets here. Just look at them without thinking. Because they don't belong to you, so no headache. They belong to somebody else. It's very good. Otherwise, if it belongs to you, you start thinking, Oh my God, I'm spreading them here. What will happen? They have to be insured or some sort of thing like that. Let's collectively gather our attention to be one at the lotus feet of the Devi, one in attention one in heart, one in Kundalini, one in pure consciousness beyond Sasara. And let's collectively say four times Sri Ganesh Mantra. Om Dwami Vastakshat. Shri Ganesha Sakshat 
Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi, Namo Namaha. Swameva Sakshat, Shri Ganesha Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi, Namo Namaha. Om Swameva Sakshat, Shri Ganesha Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi, Namo Namaha. Om Vameva Sakshat, Shri Ganesha Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi, Namo Namaha. Let's collectively put both hands on the floor and connect with the Lord Ganesha at the center of planet Earth, who is the magnet in the planet Earth. Let's collectively surrender right side, left side, central channel, everything to Mother Earth and to the Lord Ganesh in Mother Earth. Let's say also four times Sri Adibumi Devi Mata from the heart with all the respect for Mother Earth who supports us and nourish us. Om Sanchat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Om Vameva Sakshat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let collectively as one being completely surrender all the negativities within us, all the negativities at the planet level, all the catches, all the boots within us, all the possessions, all the obstacles on the right side, left side, and central channel on all our subtle system to Mother Earth. <laughs>
Now let's put the left hand on the lap. Shri Mahakali Bhairava. With all focus on the left side to be cleared by Adi Shakti. Left hand on the lap, right hand still remain on the floor. Om. Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Mahakali Bhairava Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Om. Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Mahakali Bhairava Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Shri Mahavira. Om. Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Mahavira Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Now, right hand on the lap, left hand over the shoulder. Let's collectively clear the right side. Complete surrender of ego, mind, all our reactions, everything that prevents us to be witness, pure witness. Shri Mahasarasvati Hanumana. Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Maha Sarasvati 
Hanumana Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha, Om Tvameva Sakshat, Shri Maha Sarasvati Hanumana Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha, Now, both hands on the lap. All attention beyond Sasvara, beyond the Sasvara of the cosmic being that we are, of the Virat that we are. Sri Adi Kundalini Mata Mantra from the heart. Om Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Adi Kundalini Mata Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Om Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Adi Kundalini Mata Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Om Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Adi Kundalini Mata Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi. Namo Namaha. 
let's collectively surrender to the flow of the Kundalini within us and allow her to really awaken completely. We do not do anything, we just witness the flow of the Kundalini, powerful, glorious, divine.
now full attention on the heart and on Brahmarandra. Shri Shiva Parvati. Om. Vameva Sakshat. Shri Shiva Parvati Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Dwameva Sakshat Shri Shiva Parvati Sakshat Shri Radish Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Shri Sadashiva in Brahmarandra above Sasrara. Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Sadashiva Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha complete surrender in Sasvara to the compassion of the Lord Shri Shiva in his form of Shri Sada Shiva, completely united with Shri Adi Kundalini, which is also Shri Adi Shakti. Let collectively surrender beyond Sasvara until we become pure consciousness, pure light, pure union with Shri Adi Shakti and Shri Sada Shiva beyond Sasvara.
what is our attention? Where is our attention? We need to fly beyond Sarsfara through our attention to our collective divine attention and be the super consciousness beyond Sarsfara of central channel. One with Kundalini who is going up, 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 Ude, 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 and lighting the whole central channel, united with Shri Sada Shiva. We need to be that super consciousness and also source of vibration. We need to become each of us the pure manifestation of the Virat and the pure expression of the highest level of vibrations. Our level of surrender must be beyond what we usually do to surrender until we become pure consciousness, pure light, pure vibrations. We can do it collectively. Let's surrender from our heart, not from the right side, from the heart, with through the love and through the devotion.
for 30 seconds. Let's surrender to the level that we have never surrendered before. Let be the divine child, divine baby in the hand of the Devi. We just a baby and just totally surrendered, totally trusting the mother completely. In the same way as the divine child, let's surrender the whole humanity, all the countries, all the leaders of all the world, all humanity, so that our mother can put her, her attention on all the issues that humanity is encountering she can, so that she can be, bring peace all over the world. Peace, love, harmony, brother and sisterhood, true love and care among human, be, among human beings and also among yogis. Higher level of consciousness, divine qualities, And above all, Dharma, Dharma, Dharma.
let collectively decide to stay in that level of vibration and consciousness, even after meditation, even whenever we are in our daily activities, our consciousness must stay at this level of vibration where it is wide, where it is deep, where it is global, where it is cosmic, where it is collective. Let collectively or 30 seconds completely surrender to the Devi, to the protection, complete protection of the Devi before finishing the meditation. Let pray in our heart for the complete protection of the Devi and complete blessing of our beloved mother. Let's thank in our heart, our mother, and the Lord Sadashiva, Lord Ganesh, and do Namaskar and Kundalini, collective Namaskar and collective Kundalini. I wish peace for the whole world, for the whole nation, to understand, to give up all the strives, all the false battles for money and for power, all wrong ideas that they are different from each other and come under the banner of Sahaja and enter into the kingdom of God, where they are invited with all respect and love. I wish peace to all of them, to all the countries, all the human beings, in their families, in their hearts, with their children, with all of them, let there be peace. Let their heart emit peace, their tongue speak with peace, their eyes see nothing but peace. All 
all this has to change. Tremendous change has to take place. The whole universe has to take a different turn. All that is hatred, hateful, ugly has to vanish and the peace has to prevail. It is not the peace of the dead but peace of the living that has to come of the boy. I bless all of you to be the channels of that peace, to be beautiful channels of that peace, to be glorious channels of that peace, to be great children of your mother who is so proud of you. May God bless you. There's a mantra for the Goddess, Kya Devi Sarvabhuteshu Shanti Rusre Nasavde. The Goddess who decides to all creation, created, all that is created as peace. So you have to seek peace that is your mind. We all say that mantra. You say, Ya Devi Sarvabhuteshu Shanti Rupe Na Sosita Namastaste 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 You say it once and then they should say it five times. It's a prayer. Ya Devi Sarvabhuteshu Shanti Rupe Na Sosita Namastaste 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 Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shanti Rupena Samstita Namastasye 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 Namo Namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shanti Rupena Samstita Namastasye 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 Namo Namaha And then another one is Shamaru Prayasa. This is the mantra because the peace can come only through humility and forgiveness. Shama. That's why Christ is Shama. You say that for Christ. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shama Rupena Samsita Namastasye 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 Namo Namaha. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Kshama Rupena Samstita Namastasye 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 Namo Namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Kshama Rupena Samstita Namastasye 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 Namo Namaha
जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर करुणा कर करतार हरे जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर करुणा कर करतार हरे जय कैलाशी जय अविनाशी जय कैलाशी जय अविनाशी सुखदाई सुख सार हरे जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर जय शशि शेखर जय डमरूधर जय शशि शेखर जय डमरूधर जय जय प्रेमाधार हरे जय त्रिपुरारी जय मदहारी जय त्रिपुरारी जय मदहारी अमित अनंत अपार हरे अमित अनंत अपार हरे जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर जय रामेश्वर जय नागेश्वर जय रामेश्वर जय नागेश्वर वैद्यनाथ केदार हरे जय रामेश्वर जय नागेश्वर वैद्यनाथ केदार हरे काशीपति हे विश्वनाथ श्री काशीपति हे विश्वनाथ श्री मृत्युंजय अविकार हरे मृत्युंजय अविकार हरे जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर करुणा कर करतार हरे जय कैलाशी जय अविनाशी जय कैलाशी जय अविनाशी सुखदाई सुख सार हरे जय शिव शंकर जय गंगाधर करुणा कर करतार हरे जय कैलाशी जय अविनाशी जय कैलाशी जय अविनाशी सुखदाई सुख सार हरे जय शिव शंकर जय गंगा